A Pike County man and a Floyd County woman were arrested following a traffic stop on Monday at Harold, during which police say they discovered nearly 4,500 lethal doses of fentanyl and other illicit drugs. Randy Keithley of Pikeville and Tara Hamilton of Grethel were taken into custody after the Floyd County Sheriff's Department's K-9 unit alerted officers that something wasn't right inside Keithley's truck. But we have the uh, pleasure and leisure of having three K-9 dogs out and so our dogs were deployed on a vehicle who alerted deputies to uh, the presence of illegal drugs and pretty extensive search. These guys have gotten where they believe that dog. When that dog tells them it's there, they believe it. They continue to search him, but uh, this was hit in the uh, driver's side door compartment. They had to take the panels off the door, but uh, there's where they found uh, almost probably 10 grams of fentanyl, over 50 grams of heroin, um, all stashed in the, in the compartment of the door there. Up to $600 off select devices, and that makes this the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless with a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage unlimited plan. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hamilton was charged with two counts of first-degree possession of meth and heroin, but Keith Lee, who was the driver, was charged with one count of aggravated trafficking of fentanyl and two counts of first-degree trafficking of meth and heroin. Uh, like I said, Fox Bottom and Harold and down in toward Ival, Stanville areas where we're really concentrating on in the last week or so. That we seem to be getting a lot of information and uh, uh, that we've gathered a lot of our tips, our call-in tips uh, that people give us. So that's where the guys have really been concentrating and uh, so far it's paying off. Keith Lee was in jail less than a month ago in Pike County on two other counts of first-degree drug trafficking after officers reported they found drugs stashed in his clothing while serving warrants in the early morning hours of September 13th. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Lee Compton.